What is up, video game lovers? That's right, it's Anthony Plays the Games. Alright, uh, this is my new uh, games I've added recently video, so get ready for some handhelds, a couple consoles, a bunch of games that I've picked up recently at yard sales. Alright, let's do the three handhelds. The first one is an electronic handheld battleship. Check them out. I know. Pretty cheesy, but oh well. Um, the batteries don't work. I need to get some. Crack this bad boy open and play some Battleship. I already got the board game, so what the heck. Alright, the next handheld is an electronic baseball video game. This one also, the batteries aren't working, so that kind of sucks. <clears throat> And the last handheld I got was a dollar. Um, it's for this baseball one. This one actually works. Check it out. Um, I know it looks kind of vintage, but it's actually from like 2001. So let's pitch the ball, see if we can hit it. Oops, I don't know if I hit it or not. It looks like a ball. Uh, but that's that. <clears throat> Alright, let me get to the last handheld that I got. And it was a gift from my mom who went to a yard sale that I obviously didn't stop at. And here it is. It's a Game Boy Advance case. And guess what's inside? That's right, a Game Boy Advance. Kind of a clear one. Uh, pretty cool. I'm loving it. It's got two Duracells in there already. Duracells and somebody put tape. I don't know if that's just because the case doesn't hold anymore or what but i'm gonna throw madden 06 a game i bought recently in here just to show you guys how it works awesome so yeah this is madden up in here she said she paid five dollars for it very cool there is no memory cards in here um, and if I want to be a real gangster, I'll just put my belt, if I'm worried about that day, and boom, I'll be playing the advanced in no time. Ain't that, ain't that right, Jet Man? Okay, so we'll shut this bad boy off. That was $5, but this game I scored, like, last week, so if you watch my previous video, you'll see. Um, we'll just stick this over here. Alright, the next things I got in a free bin, and they are some PSP headphones. I'm sure everybody remembers these if you've had a PSP. This piece looks like it's been sitting outside or something. But they work, and it's great. So that was in the free bin, some PSP headphones. <clears throat> Alright, let's get to the games. Or no, let me do these consoles real quick. The first console I bought at a thrift store for... 550 Surface Slam and it's a Nintendo GameCube Platinum Edition. No game inside, but I hooked it all up because it did come with any wires or anything and it works great. I'll probably be listing this Platinum Edition on eBay since I already have I have one version. I should keep it. We will see because I get the purple one. And my purple one is pretty strong. So we will see if I end up keeping that one. Alright, the next console i got today with one controller let me show you the controller first <clears throat> although the controller doesn't match the console it's a dual shock 2 playstation 2 controller pretty sweet the buttons feel pretty brand new so i can always use a new ps2 controller you know when i'm playing like a eight man wwe wrestling game and it's more controllers all right and here here is the console that's right, it's the old PlayStation 1. It says $2, but I was like, hey, it doesn't get any AV cables or, you know, electronic plugins. So she's like, all right, I'll give it to you for a dollar. So paid a dollar for this bad boy. There's no game inside. I haven't tested it out yet, but I'm sure it works. I already have a version like this. I also have the skinny white version. Um, small white version. But anyway... I painted my version of this. Pretty lame. So we will see if I keep this guy. 
We'll put them back there. Remember, I only paid a dollar for it. I'll show you two games we picked up with this also. The first game was 50 cents. And it's a PlayStation 2 game, not complete, no case or anything. It's just this game inside. It doesn't look that bad. But it is Batman Rise of Sinzu. Pretty cool. Oh, so I expect the intro, maybe some gameplay from that coming soon. Now it's 50 cents. And the other game my girlfriend bought from there was $1. Dance Dance Revolution Supernova 2. My girlfriend loves to dance, and yes, I get the eye toy, so this game is complete with the manual. Um, let's see, uh, it doesn't look that bad, so that's cool. <clears throat> so, total, I spent what? $1, $2, $2.50 there for that, and that controller up there so that's pretty cool all right let's get to some more games um i bought this at a yard sale for a dollar you know what like i kind of got taken because i was looking at the space shuttle picture and i just seen this game sitting there and i was like what the heck but you know what i got home and look no game no manual no memory card nothing so i paid a dollar basically for this liberty sword stories uh thing Maybe I should get a the CD or the game. I think I got Li Liberty Stories, but for PS2. All right, so um, all okay. Uh, these games right here. I got this one for a quarter. It's Hot Shots Golf Three for PlayStation Two. Thank you to the little kid who was getting rid of it. I got it for a quarter. Obviously, he bought it one time for eighty nine cents. So. Um, let's hope it work. It works. It's untested right now. As of right now, Hot Shots Golf 3. 25 cents, not too bad. Alright, this game I might have over overpaid for. I paid a whole dollar for it. It's NFL Game Day 2000 for PlayStation 1. It's complete. Pretty cool. Not too bad. Scuff marks in the back. I'm sure it works. Check it out. Who's on the back? Antonio Freeman for 6. Sharpen your skills in training camp. First ever telestrator and analyst, Ricky Williams, takes it to the house. Okay. So that was another dollar for PlayStation 1. This thing right here was $4, and it's the Guitar Hero 3 set. Check it out. Pretty nice, pretty thick. And then what's all in here, you're asking me? It's Guitar Hero 1, Guitar Hero 2, and Guitar Hero... Encore rocks in the 80s and 80s and rocks 80s my bad. Okay So yeah, this was four bucks all the games are here. I already checked. They're all complete Manuals and everything. It's freaking awesome. So I do have Guitar Hero Rock Legends, so It's kind of crazy. I'm getting all these Guitar Hero games. I gave up a long time ago getting it back again All right now this next oh this guy I picked up for five cents. It's an Xbox uh, One controller wired. Uh, the buttons feel like they all work, kind of. Um, yeah, so that was five cents. It's pretty cool. All right, now these next games. Oh, let me show you one more thing. My girlfriend picked this up from this old lady's yard sale. Check it out. It's a lunchbox, but guess who's on the cover? That's right, it's Mario. Check him out. Now the lady wanted what five dollars for it, but I she my girlfriend told me she only gave her four and she took it, so that's great. And this guy's from nineteen eighty eight, so it'll like it doesn't have the thermos, but it's got some old pudding and the weird smell to it. Kind of weird. So. But I'm digging it. It's Mario. You know, what more could you want, I guess? So we'll stick him right there. All right. Now, here is the last. Today, I picked all these bad boys up for what? Let me count. One. <clears throat> I don't know. They're all a dollar each. I lost count already. All right, the first game is 
Super Punch Out for Super Nintendo. Take a look. Pretty cool. It's, you know, no case or anything, but that's pretty awesome. Um, that was a dollar. All these games, like I said, were a dollar right here. Oh, okay, wait. These two I picked up at a different yard sale. So this one is with the, these guys, but these two I forgot they're different. These are a dollar. I already have this one. I thought I didn't have it. It's complete. <clears throat> I should have, like, studied my memory or whatever. But, yeah, I already have this game, but it was a dollar. Another NASCAR one. And then this game was also another dollar. It's Destruction Derby 2. I got Destruction Derby 1, so... Oh, look at this. What? There's two games in here. There's Destruction Derby with the case, but look. There's NHL Breakaway 98 in here. Awesome. I didn't even know that. So that's kind of cool. I just got a free present. Let's stick this up. It's got a dog hair or something on it. Uh, we'll stick that in there. Destruction Derby 2 and NHL Hockey 98 or something. So that was cool. Look, I guess it was three, $2 for three games. Sweet. Alright, like I said before, we had the Super Punch-Out for Super Nintendo. The next game is for Sega Dreamcast. WWF, get it. Claim Sports. It's got the Rock Stone Cold on here. This game is complete. <clears throat> Pretty cool. Kind of dusty under there. But that's for Sega Dreamcast. Awesome. The next game was another dollar. It's NFL Quarterback Club 2000 with Brett Favre on there. Now it doesn't have a, a manual, but whatever. Check it out. Another Sega Dreamcast game for a dollar. The next game is Ready to Rumble Boxing Round 2 for another dollar. Sega Dreamcast. Let's see if there's an extra game in here. No. Nope. There's your Ready to Rumble. Game is complete with the manual. Kind of scratched up. Check out that ring action by there. Cool. Sega Dreamcast. All right. The next game is NBA Showtime, NBA NBC with Shaquille O'Neal passing the basketball. The, there is no manual to this, so it's kind of half complete. Um, the game looks like it's been played with, of course. It's kind of dirty. Shag's taking it to the hole right there. <clears throat> oh, man, I got it on this far away. Now you can probably see Shaq taking it to the home. Alright, All right, so let's put this back in there. And that was it for the Sega Dreamcast games. Um, let's get to these four guys. They were all for Nintendo. Let's start off with some of this one. I don't know what it is. It says Venice, Venice Beach Volleyball. Check out the chicks. They must play for the Olympics. USA Olympics team. This is press here. I don't know what for. But yeah, it's a black case for the Nintendo. I think it's a rare game. <clears throat> so we'll stick that right there. Next is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It was $1 also. The first Ninja Turtles game for Super Nintendo. I have the second one complete in box. So that's cool. Alright. Next game was also Dollar Fester's Quest. Check it out. Awesome. I remember playing this game and getting very aggravated as a little kid too. So. And then the last game was another dollar and it's Bases Loaded Second Season. Now how many times have I owned this game in my lifetime and sold it? At least 20 times. So welcome back again, Baseball or Bases Loaded Second Season. <clears throat> Alright, and this game is the only game that I have for... Sega CD. It's NBA Jam and it was one dollar. Check it out. New player roster. Awesome. It's Sega CD action. Let's open up this game. Boom. There it is. Not too bad. <clears throat> the game is complete with the manual. No notes in there taken so that's good. You know, I haven't found any money in these manuals ever. 
the hell's going on with people. So there you go. All you do is pop the lid and stick your Sega CD game in there. <clears throat> Alright. Now let's get to the last of what I got here. There's seven more things to go. The first game is NCAA Final Four Basketball. This one was $1. It's complete with the manual and the case. Um, let me... Get to the next game. Look, there's some crud up in here. Kind of, it's kind of dirty. So, NCAA Final Four basketball. For $1. Next game is Pro Quarterback for $1 for the Sega Genesis. Let's take a look. The game is complete with the manual and the game. That was $1. Next one is Tommy Lasorda Baseball for Sega for $1. The game is complete with the manual. Sweet. Check it out. I'm sure you'll be seeing uh, me doing intros or video game intros. Right, right here is Growl, another dollar video game. Street Sega Genesis. The game is complete with the manual, so that's cool. <clears throat> There's the back of it. That was Growl, alright. And then we got WWE Royal Rumble, or WWF Royal Rumble. Hulk Hogan, Razor Ramon, Macho Man, The Undertaker, and Lex Luger. The game is not complete. No manual, but the game's right there. I haven't tested any of these out yet because I just got them today. So, <clears throat> Two more games left. This one is Dick Vitale's Awesome Baby College Hoops game number four. Who is that? Chris Weber? Must be. The game is not complete, but it looks like it's autographed with VE number two. Who knows? So let's stick that over there. That was, yeah. And then the last game right here is Evander Holyfield's Real Deal Boxing for a dollar. Look at all those belts. Jesus. We'll open it up. The game is not complete, but the game looks pretty cool. Look at it. Awesome. So that was my little new video game haul, guys. Sorry if it took too long. Um. <clears throat> I'm always looking for new games, so keep watching my channel for a fun time, right? Let me get this. Floss the Game Boy Advance real quick. And then it's handheld. Take a look. So it's been an okay week. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Say bye, Mario.